Now, you might know our next guest from her role as the nurse Sheila Turner in the hit series Call the Midwife. The actress Laura Main is back delivering babies, but this time her own. In a new stage comedy, which is called One More Push, uh, she's playing a character called Jen, who's hoping to have an idyllic home birth, but things don't quite go to plan. Yes, luckily for Laura, she's no stranger to acting out the throes of labour. Let's take a look. Oh, baby's head is born. Is it? Is it? <laughs> It's a boy. <laughs> was it a boy? It was a boy. <laughs> Laura's yeah, here. Right. Teddy. <laughs> Morning. Who's now about seven, I think. Yeah, Aww. that was from series six. Quite nice to see that again. So you're very well rehearsed at this, Laura, <laughs> aren't you? I do feel like I bring a bit of... Um, yeah, a bit of expertise. Uh, not uh, obviously a professional uh, midwife in any capacity, but amazingly, we've got the same midwife advisor, uh, Terry Coates, who kind of spawned um, the, the, the memoirs that, uh, that then um, has become called Midwife, you know, the, the, the TV programme. So she's helping us on our play as well. So, yes, I have expert help again. But, um, yeah, I've lived with this subject quite some time, <laughs> so it's, it definitely helps. Yeah. Tell us about the play. Yeah. The premise, it, it, it's a, they've got a plan. They're hoping for a home birth. They are very much hoping for a home birth. They have a birthing pool. Um, it's not quite pumped up, but <laughs> that's the least of the problems that then kind of happens on, over the next uh, two hours. If I say there is um, six characters in this, and certainly not all are expected at uh, at this critical moment in in her life. Oh, okay. um, it's yeah. a bit of a tease. And it, mm. and it is an unusual subject to make a play out of, isn't it? Oh, that kind yeah. of that drama that lots of us experience and lots of us know mm. about and might talk to our friends about. Yeah. Putting it on stage is a new thing. Yeah. Well, it's interesting. You know, I mentioned Terry Coates and she wrote this, um, uh, an essay that went in a midwifery journal, which Jennifer Worth saw and, 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 and she posed this question. She says, why is the midwife always uh, not in the centre of, of a story? So suddenly, you know, I, I guess through Call the Midwife, it's become, you know, out and proud and it's something that is discussed which is you know just just right and so now we're seeing that transition to the stage with with one last push and it is it's absolutely all about this couple um getting set for for, for a home birth so does that mean you have to <laughs> you have to give birth on the stage i have to give birth on stage however i'm very grateful that i have a birthing pool which does <laughs> give a little bit of modesty for i think everyone will appreciate that, that the audience and myself and um, so yes i'm very much uh, covered up in there that must be really difficult because you have to make yourself so vulnerable mm -hmm. yeah yeah i'm finding that actually yeah i, I when I read this play, I just loved um, how funny it is. It's, it's Chris Chibnall, who, who did Broadchurch, who, who ran Doctor Who. You know, it's a great, great writer, and it's really, really funny. And it's actually a farce in places. Yeah. It's, it's, it's hysterical. I laughed out loud, you know, reading it on my own. And I sort of thought, that'll be fun. But I didn't really think through <laughs> having to give birth every night on stage. And we were rehearsing it the other day, and with the breathing and... It is quite, you know, an overwhelming emotional sort of experience. And so physically it's... exhausting, I'd have thought, yes, isn't it? Yes, yes. So, yeah, we'll be doing is it eight shows a week, you know, and I'm normally... I mean, I, I did get to do it as Sheila as well in the programme, but I'm normally watching the actresses that come through mm. and they're on set and it's all day and you might see them the next day and it's like, how are you? And they're like, I'm absolutely exhausted. Yes. So, you know, I don't have to... I'll only have to do it for about 
10 minutes in the play. I won't be spending all day, um, but yes, I'll be doing it night Giving after birth night. <laughs> eight times a week is, uh, yeah, that sounds pretty overwhelming. I mean, I'm just pretending that it's painful, <laughs> so. I can imagine, it's such a great subject though, isn't it? Mm. People who have sold this idea of this idyllic thing, of, you know, it works for some people, but actually doesn't work for everybody. Yeah, well, it doesn't go to plan. It doesn't uh -huh. go to plan, okay. but... Um, yeah, it's it's very much a comedy, and it and it's all it's all all right. But um, yeah, I guess it's a nice sort of story, and you 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 can wish for something, and even if it doesn't quite go according to plan, you know, beautiful things can come out of that. So I just saw the pictures of you in rehearsal with the birthing ball. Oh, I know. I was getting flashbacks to when our first child was yeah. born, like over twenty years ago. Um, we had it all laid out in the hall to go to the okay. hospital. We had the birthing yes. ball. We had a CD player with whale okay. music. We had the whole oh. lot. And then I took my wife to the hospital, forgot all the stuff. <laughs> Don't. So I had to go back Don't. and get it. I was convinced I was going to miss oh. the birth. I didn't. But it's, it's those kind of things, okay. isn't it? You can, you can plan so much, <laughs> but at the end of the day, nothing prepared. I really hope um, Sam Alexander, who plays Mark, um, Jen, my character's husband in the show, I hope she's watch he's watching because yeah. you basically are summing up his character. Oh, is this the same oh, really? kind of thing? Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's fabulous. <laughs> You Every know. birthing partner's nightmare, yeah. isn't it? All those responsibilities, those things you've got to think about. Yeah, yeah. and it guess it is relatable, that's the thing. It's very relatable, yeah. yeah. Lauren, lovely to have oh, you here. Oh, thanks for Fantastic having me. Fantastic to meet you. Yeah. And uh, One Last Push opens at uh, Salisbury Playhouse on the 15th of February. Sounds fabulous. Thank you. Uh, you're